Okay, this is Breaking Benjamin's Breath. <clears throat> a couple of people requested this. It's taking me a little while to get to it. But, here we go. It's in drop B flat or drop C flat. It's drop C, I'm not sure which one. <clears throat> and here's your E. Lots of buzz. <clears throat> because I have a light gauge string on it. Here we go, intro. So to play that, you start here on the A string on the 7th fret. D string on the 9th fret. You're muting this E with your pointer finger. <clears throat> Pinky going on the D string on the 10th uh, fret. And then I play the second part of that. Just a bar chord over the 10th fret. Second chord is this. Which is 9th uh, fret, 10th fret A. D string of 12th fret. In the verse you can play a couple different ways. This is not 100% of the recording. This is arranged for one guitar and you can mix it up however you want, obviously. Um, but it's based off of two chords. One is a, an A minor. Of course you want to mute that uh, top string. And the second one is based off of an F variation or an E. Based off of an F, so you just take an E chord. Is the way I play is take an E chord and just slide it up one fret, and you can either strum it, or you can do the arpeggiated chords and how they do it. Move back a little bit so you can see kind of what I'm doing here. And it, I don't play it the same every time, but it gets close enough. the verse and it goes into this part which is fret play the top three strings and then you're gonna I play it this way you play my uh, ring finger on the B string fifth fret so these two uh, G and E are playing the same note let's them ring a little bit louder and then you're going to take your pointer finger you're going to put it on that string that G fifth fret and you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to bar of the 7th uh, uh, fret. 7, 2, 7, 9, then back to 3. Then back up to 10th uh, fret.
two, three, two. five, and to the. So then you have this bridge that goes. Pretty much 